Alrighty, here we are, week number 12, episode number 12. Just trying to keep this project moving. Lots of updates today. It's gonna be a short video just because uh, we've got a couple different things going on and uh, I'll kind of walk you through what we're doing this week. But um, in all reality, I'm actually kind of taking a week off. Um, we hired out some of the project uh, to some other contractors to come and take care of. I just don't have the patience or ability to make sheetrock look good when it's finished and painting is not really one of my uh, big fortes. So when you're doing a project like this, sometimes you have to hire some of the parts out. You can't do them all yourself. We found a local guy and man, it is the nicest thing. I left last week and you know, the, all the sheetrock was hung. This week it's all textured, all ready to go, all primed and the house is ready to be uh, painted starting tomorrow. So I get to work on smaller projects for the next couple of days and uh, the painters are going to work on the big project. So let's take a quick tour. I'll show you what the inside looks like. We've started on the sunroom. The ceiling is finished. The beam is up and you can kind of get a good feel of what the uh, rooms are going to look like when they're done. So let's take a walk through and I'll show you right now. First thing that's interesting about the house is the humidity level in here is about 60%. Uh, when they sprayed the mud and all the texture on everything, it uh, definitely uh, raised the humidity. As you can see, we've started putting up the pine uh, behind the plastic there. We'll look at that next week. The little uh, raised area for the wood stove in the corner of the sunroom is in. Uh, our door is here. Our window will be here tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, we'll get all the pine paneling up uh, this week and get that window in. That would be really the nice. Texture on the ceiling is called knockdown. I just don't have the ability to do this. And it was one of those things where, you know, I give them a passcode to get into the house. They come in, do all the different work, and do the knockdown ceiling, and uh, everything looks great. This is primed and ready to be painted. So this will be painted the next day here. Next time I come up, we'll put in the lights, the smoke detectors, and start really finishing off uh, the electrical side of the system. Moving into this space, our stairwell is complete. Uh, all the way down, same thing, knock down texture. Our railing for right here is actually down in the basement. Um, you know, it will be putting that up hopefully here in the next uh, week or two. It's just uh, one of those things where we're waiting uh, to get all the painting done before we start really moving in the finished goods. The walls, as you can see, are definitely finished off very, very nicely. Everything looks really good here. All the sheetrock has the texture, just like uh, I was talking about. We went with this style texture just because, quite honestly, um, in, the, in at a cabin, at a, a weekend home, things like that, stuff happens, people bump the walls, people bump into anything. And with this, first off, it gives a nice finish to the wall, but second off, if somebody, let's say, nicks the wall, dents it, whatever, I can take a little bit of putty, hit that spot, touch it with a little paint, and it'll look like brand new. We did it in our last property and if I could recommend anything to anybody, knock down texture on a wall uh, versus smooth coat, much easier to maintain and take care of. Behind us here, I wanted to show you guys this. Sorry about all the plastic and everything because we're painting right now, but the other half of the ceiling is up, so we've got the entire vault up. And this week our beam got delivered. Uh, this beam actually came from Montana. Uh, it was a, a log that they had cut down and milled. It's the same material that uh, the mantle is made out of for the fireplace. Um, same log, what we did was, if you remember, there was that uh, beam up on the top, that micro lamb that ran across. We notched out the log uh, up on the top, slid it up, and then bolted it up in there with security bolts. And then on the ends, there's some gusset plates here on this end. And walk over this way for a second with you guys. Uh, over there and basically it's bolted in from the end so it's secure if you see where these wires are coming down on these two different locations these notch outs that's where two ceiling fans are going to go we've got uh some really nice ceiling fans i ended up buying them on amazon got a really good deal on them on black friday really nice uh crisp cherry wood uh, fans with the kind of the brushed bronze dark oil rubbed uh, metal on them so i think they'll look really classy we're starting to put in all of our finishing work for our speakers and our cans and all the uh, different electrical pieces so we can start adding those in. Once the painting is done and we do a thorough cleaning on this place, we'll be moving on to really getting uh, everything, you know, finally buttoned up. Um, one nice thing too is with the fireplace going, it's knocking down the humidity in the house. Um, this morning when I got here, it was 
uh, somewhere around 60, 70% humidity in the house. Now you check the meter and it's down in the 40s. So we'll get it back to normal in here, just uh, waiting for all the paint to dry and uh, waiting for the next thing. Uh, tomorrow we'll start laying in color. So hopefully I'll grab a little bit of that for you guys and show you kind of an update on that as we get going on that. But that'll uh, start tomorrow and everything's kind of coming together. The boys room is all textured and first uh, coat of primer. Almost everything in the house has been primed. I will tell you this, this pile right here weighs about 1800 pounds. You wouldn't believe it, but every one of those boxes has the tile for the floor for the bathrooms, the showers, the decorative tiles, things like that that we're going to do in the house. One thing I tell anybody who is doing a remodel or a project is don't underestimate the amount of things that you have to move, haul, pile. And anytime you can move something to its final destination, we're going to cut tile in this room. So putting the tile in here works well because you carry it once from the car to here. Otherwise, if you weren't paying attention to where you put stuff, you'll be moving it from spot to spot to spot and moving 1800 pounds worth of tile more than one time is a lot of work. Last night, unloading the car took a long time. This room is really dark, but the bathroom is all sprayed and textured also. We went with a little bit different texture in the bathroom just to make it easier to clean. It's kind of a smooth texture versus the knockdown style. Master bedroom is coming together. Our bedroom's coming together, our bathroom is coming together. We're doing a little bit of different insulation for some sound and editing stuff in the wall here, so that's why this is taken apart like that, but uh, that'll get put back together this week. Now I'll take you guys downstairs quick and show you kind of the stuff we've been doing in the mechanical room and then we'll come back up here and I'll show you the rest. So here's another addition. Um, this space right here eventually will be kind of a workshop for me and one of the things I wanted to do is close off the area where the furnace was. So we built this wall um, and this space and we're going to put a uh, 36 inch steel door in here. Uh, we did a little bit thicker of a sheetrock on the walls, give it a little bit of fire protection, but uh, this will be basically utility room, um, you know, water heater, mechanical stuff. And when we have the spray foam done, I'm gonna have the cavities up on the ceiling sprayed with the foam also in hopes of knocking down the sound to really keep it nice and quiet in the house here. But definitely a little uh, update, didn't take very much to do, you know, a little bit of sheetrock, a little bit of two by fours, using up some of the materials that we had left over. But uh, I think it'll be a nice way to at least quiet down the house a little bit more and, uh, you know, keep everything somewhat organized. You know, everything in here will be our utility stuff. I'll have my workroom area, we'll have our storage down on the end there. And then this is the uh, rest of the space. Like I was saying, when you have the painters here, you gotta move everything out. So everything's down here just waiting for the next phase. Well, that kind of wraps it all up. Uh, like I said, the beam turned out awesome. Really easy way to hide uh, some of the mechanical and some of the uh, structural stuff that we had to add to the house to make this room work. But I think it ties the uh, ceiling together nicely. You know, we'll have more updates in the upcoming weeks. I'll try to get them out as soon as possible, but uh, definitely been uh, a lot of fun. My hope is, is we'll get the plastic off the windows here in the next uh, week so that then we can start seeing uh, what it looks like with the light coming in and kind of some of the finish and trim work coming in. So cool. Well, thanks for watching again. As always, if you want to get a little bit more up to date uh, uh, statuses on the project and some pictures, we are on Instagram, the weekend homestead. Just look us up on there. Uh, follow us. I try to get pictures up as things are happening in between when we put the videos out. So if you want to follow us there, feel free to uh, click the button on Instagram. I'll have something in the description to find us there. Other than that, if this is your first time watching, we have a lot of different projects on the homestead. We've been focusing a lot on the homestead house here, but we also have the apple orchard, a bunch of land projects and some outdoor activities, tractors, four wheeling, fun stuff like that. So hopefully I'll have some of that, more of that coming here in the next couple weeks. So that'll be nice. As always, thanks for watching, and this has been The Weekend Homestead, living the simple life one weekend at a time.